According to legend, De Tennis was founded by the Duke Holdrich in the mid-11th century. While crossing the country, he came across two orphan boys whom he took pity on. He took them and then designated a group of his people in waiting to protect them and bring them up. This is where the settlement's name originates from, De Tennis. Benesh of Wallenstein and De Tennis, 1269-1318, converted the original wooden fort into a Gothic stone fortress and the chateau still features remains of a castle tower and early Gothic cellars. According to the legend, Benesh Billy used to sit at Navinakake below a small rock and secretly read Hussite books in order to keep them hidden from his Catholic wife. Stones from this rock were quarried in the 19th century and transported to the Chateau Park. In 1503, the estate was bought by the House of Kronecti. The last of the House of Rona of, i.e. Kronecti, was Jiri Kronecki, who commissioned the construction of a clock tower and converted the Gothic fortress into a Renaissance chateau. Jiri Kronecki took part in the insurgents against Ferdinand II and as a result of this treason, his estate was confiscated after the Battle of the White Hill and sold in an auction to Albrecht von Wallenstein. Jerry Kronecki was sentenced to death and was to be executed in the Old Town Square with 27 other Czech noble leaders. However, he managed to flee for Saxony and had his entire fortune buried in the secret corridors of the chateau with hopes that he would someday come back to pick it up. No one has discovered the treasure so far. After the death of Albrecht von Wallenstein, 1634, the estate was passed on to his nephew, Adam von Wallenstein. Adam's grandson, Octavian, 1670-1717, commissioned the construction of the morgue statue of St. Salvatore, 1713, the statue of the Virgin Mary Sushanku and statue of St. Barbara in the Chateau Park. He is credited with the statue of John of Napomulk on the village green in De Tennis and the Chateau Chapel. Octavian von Wallenstein had the De Tennis school constructed in 1673. Other notable owners of the estate include Count Jan Clam Gallas, 1760, who had a vast stretch of forest cut down, built the Novi Dvur and converted the chateau from the late Baroque style to its present appearance. He planted a vineyard on a hill at Osenis, the present Navina Cake. His son Karl commissioned the construction of a spa for his ill wife at Navina Cake. 